I convince you that quickly. Uh, I just wanted, I had a chance like, to make the easy way out, like go somewhere I know I'll be starting. Like, I wanted like to work, work for and like compete. So that's the reason I came with because they got guys like Jeff Black and um, Gabe up here already. So I just know like if all of us do good, then we gonna we do good as we all well. together. We all make plays. So we're good enough, all of us. You know. When you came in on that visit, you kind of said you were you weren't in the shape you wanted to be. Mm -hmm. Did that become a? Did, did the coaches tell you that too when you started getting in the workouts and that kind of thing? Oh yeah, they, they, uh, they made sure I work hard. They threw me straight in. I came up here at 330, 331. So I'm a, I'm down to 303 right now, 300. So yeah, they were they were so hard. Through, you already dropped 30 pounds. Yeah, I already dropped. I'm already playing shit right now. So yeah, they worked me hard. <laughs> how, how much how much different has the uh, how much different has the Playing, be, did you? How, how heavy did you play in, at Hutchinson? I played at I played at 305. I just gained weight like towards the season, like, started to get over and stuff, and like gained weight on the winter break. So I was gaining gaining weight, not doing nothing. I think Jeff mentioned that you were dealing with the, was it like the neck or shoulder or something or other that was going on. Oh no, that's um, no, that's not me. Oh, okay. yeah. oh. <laughs> Uh, what's what's been the biggest difference between what's been, big, been the biggest transition you've had to make as you go to in here besides the weight loss obviously well, the weight loss and just knowing you're not the main guy no more just knowing you, you start from the bottom basically but you're still that guy but you just gotta, you gotta like start over and get everybody else to believe in you like all the other players that believe in you with just your work ethic and stuff. You know, it's just not about it's not all about hype no more. So how many offers you have no more. It's about you playing now. So that's about that's about where where do you want to play weight wise? Like now that you drop and you come down, what, what's your goal to be? I'm probably stay at this range three or three three or five and just play at this. I just want to get more get like stronger and stuff. I know you probably just told him what, what weight wise. What did you drop to? Uh, I dropped to three or three. How I, start, much? I came up at three thirty one. I dropped three or three. How, how much of a difference has that made in your game? Well, that made a, that made a huge difference because it was just I was just so out of shape when I first came up here, but they they just worked me through it. They kept me through it, going full speed. And that just helped a lot. And the eating habit, eating habits also, so they changed a lot. Did you know you were out of shape when you came, or were your eyes kind of? I just knew I was out of shape because all the visits and all the eating good. I just knew I got out of shape. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't take cool. long, did it? Oh yeah. My mom started saying my titties got bigger, so <laughs> I just knew it was big. So I just knew I had to lose some weight. <laughs> so when, when you're working with the defense, it's trying to go as quick and match what this offense is doing. Have you ever played at anything close to this kind of speed? Oh no, this this is like real fast. Like especially some periods, it's, we we keep moving even if ball not set. So this is like really a conditioning. You condition during practice, so it's, this really helps with like a lot of a lot of playing shape too. So the game should be easier. Because um, the game shouldn't go this fast, it's perfect. What has it been like working with uh, Coach Garner, and, and what have you learned from him so far? Coach Garner, I think I, I like I like him a lot because he's tough, and he show you uh, he show you he, it's tough love. He, he'll make sure you correct the stuff most of the time, and then he'll he'll like congratulate you for doing good things. But most times it's tough love. You don't have no favorites and all that. It's just tough luck. You look at Auburn's 2013 signing class as a whole, and I think that obviously defensive line stands out. What is it like to be coming in with such a loaded and highly touted group? Oh, uh, it's uh, I think everybody's like enjoying it because the way we see it, it don't matter who's starting or as long as you play and you make plays and we all do good, then we all gonna look good. So as long as we all just ball and make plays and we all going to do it as a whole. How far have you come this spring, do you feel like? I came a long way, especially from the first day. I came, it was just a big improvement from winter workouts to Bubba's to the first day of spring. But now I'm, I think I'm like getting closer to where I want to play at top, top wise.